and I was left alone with my grandfather. For a long time, he sat silent, smoking his pipe. I sat quietly too, smelling the sweet tobacco smoke, feeling the warm sun on my legs, hearing birds sing, feeling the cool mountain wind on my face. Finally, I thought I must reassure him. Don't worry, Grandfather. I can take care of myself. I'd like to see inside. Can we go in? Surely, child, surely. Come with me. Grandfather, you have a wonderful house. Oh, it's so cosy and such a wonderful fireplace. Do you cook there? That's the biggest cuckoo clock I've ever seen. And what a big, beautiful bed you have. But where will I sleep? Anywhere you like. Oh, that's wonderful. In this corner by the fireplace, or, or in that corner where the warm rug is. <laughs> where does that ladder go? Well, maybe you should climb it and see. Oh, it's a hayloft. And you can see the whole valley from the window. Oh, Grandfather, can I sleep up here? Can I? Can I? I think we might make you a very comfortable bed up there. But come down now, Heidi, and we'll have a bite to eat. Can I help? Can I set the table? Oh, I know I'm going to like living here with you. I hope you're like me. I can't understand why you're so happy in a strange place for the first time with an old stranger like me. I didn't know either except that somehow I felt secure and at home. And despite the terrible tales I had heard about my grandfather, I wasn't afraid of him. He looked at me with kindly eyes. When bedtime came, I crawled up into my hayloft bed and made up a little lullaby. The sun, streaming in the window of my hayloft, woke me the next morning. And for a minute, I didn't remember where I was. When I remembered, I was happy and scrambled down the ladder to find that Grandfather had a wonderful breakfast ready for me. Soon, there came a shrill whistle from outside. It was Peter and his goats, come to pick up Schwanli and Barley. My Grandfather called to him. Come in here, Goat General. Yes, sir. Have you met my granddaughter, Heidi? N no, sir. Yes, sir. 
I saw her yesterday on the mountain. Oh, speak up, boy. Are you frightened of something? Don't be scared, Peter. Hello, Peter. Can I go with you and the goats? I'm afraid not. Your grandfather... I think that's a splendid idea, Heidi. But you must obey Peter. He's the general. Oh, I will, I will. Oh, it's going to be such fun. Now, what have you got for your lunch, young man? Just this, sir. Why, that's not enough to keep a bird alive. And there'll be two birds today. Here, take this cheese, and then this bread, and this jug of milk. Thank you, sir. Now, Heidi, you carry the milk and put it into the stream when you get to the meadow to keep it cool. Now, be off, you two. So, up the mountain we climbed with the wonderful goats. Finally, we came to the high meadow, and it was the most beautiful place I had ever seen. It was covered with flowers. Red primroses, blue gentians, yellow buttercups. I put the jug of milk into the stream, and Peter and I sat down on a little mound while the goats frisked and frolicked. Oh, this is the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Your grandfather's different. Different from what? Well, different from the way he has been before. I didn't know him before, so I don't know he's different. I was afraid of him. I'm not now. I don't know why anyone would be afraid of him. I love him. I think you changed him. I? Are you always so happy? Oh, never so much as now. It's wonderful here. Let's explore. Show me all the places the goats go to. Come with me to the mountains Where the flowers are in bloom Come with me to the meadows Where the hills will sing their tune Through the village we must go To the hills far up above Where the grass is green and the air is clean To the places that I love As we climb the mountainside Where the goat herd loves to roam There are roses red, violets blue On the meadows far from home Oh, lady, oh, lady How I love the places high Oh, lady Sunlit sky as the flowers grow in snow. Oh, the lady, oh, the lady, sing the mountains high above. 